Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Break the Silence Virtual Gala in support of Yellow Brick House. Let's take a moment and make sure everyone is registered so you can bid and donate tonight. On a separate device or in a second browser window, go to trellis.org forward slash 2022 dash virtual dash gala or simply scan the QR code to get started. Click register on the top tab. Enter your email address and a few personal details to create an account. Include your credit card number so you are ready to bid on the live auction and donate tonight. During the show, when Lane announces the start of the live auction, go to the live auction tab at the top of the page to make your bids. If you have already pre-registered, you can go directly to the symbolic gifts tab to make a donation. Thank you and enjoy the gala. Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's gala. I'm York Regional Police Chief Jim McSween and it's my honour to welcome you to the Yellow Brick House Break the Silence Virtual Gala. Throughout the pandemic, our frontline officers have seen a dramatic increase in intimate partner violence and a dramatic increase in those of ne in need of support. A recent statistic reported from the Canadian Femicide Observatory stated that in the 31 days of January in 2022, 20 women and girls were reported murdered. The staggering statistic equals one death every one and a half days. These women were mothers, daughters, sisters, and friends. We need to do better. We need to educate and encourage the community to break the silence. We need to empower and uplift women and girls, and your support tonight will help do just that. This evening, your donations will help ensure Yellow Brick House shelters remain open and ready to serve the women and children who need them most. Your support means more than I can say. So enjoy the show and be sure to bid, donate and share on social media so we can generate as much funding as we can for this remarkable organization. Together we can break the silence and collectively make a difference in our community. Thank you. Join us in supporting Yellow Brick House and help empower abused women and children to rebuild their lives and live a life free from violence and abuse. 
Let's break the silence. My name is Britta B, and the name of this poem is Dear Young Woman. Dear young woman, I hope you find you. I hope you find love. I see all the armor you wear. I see all the jewels and gems of wisdom you share. It's okay to shine, ma. It's okay to shine. It's okay to have pride, ma. You don't have to live a lie. Don't let the violence fool you into silence, convincing you that you are not worthy of space and time. You might not know it yet, but you got a multi-dimensional set of eyes looking out for you. Trust that what is meant for you is relying on you to show up. Show up. You can lose your religion, but you will never lose your spirit. Each of your breaths have minds and lives of their own. I doubt we'll ever know the true impact of our presence. What a blessing. Young woman, I wish you enough. I wish you enough time for all of your skills and talents. I wish you more. I wish you more revelations than disrespects and regrets. And I beg you to believe in yourself more than your parents ever did. Carry out your curiosities in spite of the corruptions you experience. You let yourself free when you let yourself forgive. And so when you do, and I know you will, I hope you find you. I hope you find love again. This evening would not have been possible without our generous sponsors. Let's say thank you to our title sponsor, The Talent Company, Ambassador Sponsors, Bell Canada, Palette Val LLP, and PV Women's Network, Tri Tech Pinnacle. Our community sponsors, City of Richmond Hill, Decor Rest Furniture Limited, My Design Studio, NPL Canada, and Primont. Special thanks to Eagles Nest Golf Club, Angus Glen, Griffin Jewelry Design, Home Depot, Innovatex, Oak Ridge Golf Club, Royal Stouffville Golf Course, York Regional Police Service Board, Rainfresh, and Southern Glazers Wine and Spirits. Special thanks to Colio Estate Wines, Thornbury Craft Company, Shoppers Drug Mart Love You Campaign, Alicia Galbraith, Hello Fresh, Mary Tweedale, and Lisa Chang. In 1978, the Rose family sold her home, which then became Yellow Brick House, a place of caring, hope, and love for women and children escaping violence. 
Since then, Yellow Brick House has been providing life-saving services and prevention programs to meet the diverse needs of individuals, families, and communities impacted by violence. Our counselors are available 24-7 to take calls from women in crisis. Our crisis line is a critical first step for women experiencing abuse, and we ensure that every single call for help is answered. We have two emergency shelters. Inside our walls, women and children know they are safe. They learn to rebuild their lives with courage and confidence through our diverse programs. We offer individual group counseling sessions for women to help them heal from the impact of trauma. We provide access to legal information and support, transitional housing support, and community service referrals. In essence, we help families rebuild their lives. Children who experience abuse are greatly impacted in many ways. In fact, 60% of children from violent homes have PTSD. We work with each child in their own time and space to help them heal, to build trust, to recover and grow into being healthy kids. Each year, we have helped over 6,200 women and children escape violence. Every single day, there are families here rebuilding their lives. Every story begins with the courage to leave a dangerous, even deadly home. They share stories of terror, despair, and tears. But the real story of Yellow Brick House is about empowering women and children to rebuild their lives and help our community to end violence against women and children. Well, good evening and welcome to the Yellow Brick House Break the Silence Virtual Gala presented by title sponsor, The Talent Company. My name is Lane the Auctionista and, and I don't have to tell you how honored I am to be back as your show host and fundraiser tonight. And we are so grateful to have you here with us supporting Yellow Brick House and the women and children they serve. Your financial support tonight is critical in providing help and hope to women and children, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As we patiently await for the time to arrive where we can gather together safely in a ballroom, we are here virtually once again. And yes, I am live in studio, and you can hear that my seasonal allergies have gotten the better of me, so I am having a little cuppa during the show tonight. Over the last two years, your commitment to Yellow Brick House has never waned. You have continued to stand right beside us, and we've collectively watched domestic violence cases rise, and you have responded with your support like never before. We appreciate all of our returning supporters so very much, and welcome to our new supporters. Welcome into the Yellow Brick House family with open arms. Folks, tonight is the most important night of the calendar year for Yellow Brick House. This signature fundraising event raises significant and crucial funds annually and provides nights of safety for women and children impacted by domestic violence. But tonight, <laughs> we've got a big goal, and our goal is to raise $150,000 in donations by the end of this show. And with everyone's support, I have absolutely no doubt that we can accomplish this together. Of course, you have to be registered to bid in the online auction, live auction, and to make a donation. So grab your phone or tablet, take a moment right now, and go to trellis.org forward slash 2022 dash virtual dash gala. Get yourself set up. It only takes a minute. Or you can scan the QR code right here on the screen, and that will take you directly to the fundraising site. Folks. I've got to tell you, we have outdone ourselves. We have an incredible evening planned for you. Tonight, you will have an opportunity to bid on excellent silent and live auction packages. And I got to tell you, that is going to be so much fun. We have media host Lisa Chang with us tonight, presenting our survivor stories. And of course, our headline talent, award-winning Canadian powerhouse and queen of R&B soul, none other than Julie Black, and she is here to wow us with her performances. And critically important is our Fund a Need segment, where we will call upon everyone to give their direct financial support to Yellow Brick House with a symbolic gift.
And I don't want us losing sight of our goal of raising $150,000 in charitable donations by the end of the show. So as I say, tonight, we will raise money for Yellow Brick House. We will celebrate our achievements because your financial support means more nights of safety for women and children. My friends, tonight you are our benefactors and we are incredibly grateful to each and every one of you. And <laughs> I'm happy to say that we've had a few people that have gotten their donations in early. So let's say thank you to the following folks. Misty Holmes from PC Law for a $2,175 gift. Enid Lipset, $1,000. Tammy Brisland, $1,000. Trusha Patel has given $500, and so has Maria Ruberto. Donna Robinson has given $530. Ravi Gandhi, $750. Lisa Crefo, $1,500. And Sandy Sara, $1,000. I recognize so many of these names as longtime supporters. As I have a sip of my tea. You know what? It's live, and this is the way it is. All right, <laughs> let's get our evening underway. It is my pleasure to introduce Chief Roseanne Archibald, who was the first elected chief of the Tequa Tagamu Nation in 1990, being the first woman and the youngest chief to be elected at age 23. Please welcome Chief Roseanne Archibald to the show. Hi everyone, it's National Chief Roseanne Archibald here and I'm really pleased to be bringing you this video message. First, let me acknowledge the Creator, the world around us, and our place within it. Today I'm coming to you from the Tsleil-Waututh, Squamish, and Musqueam Nations traditional territory and I acknowledge all of you on the territories where you are today. I'm happy to bring this message to the Yellow Brick House and I really like your slogan about rebuilding lives, empowering abused women and children. We know that there is a second pandemic that has happened during this first COVID-19 pandemic and that is domestic violence. And so I want you to know that I have a vision of safe, uh, communities, vibrant communities, uh, happy, healthy children surrounded by the love and care of their families. And I see our women being loved, cherished, safe, respected, and protected. So I ask all of you today to break the silence with me, to speak up against violence that has plagued the women and children of Canada, particularly Indigenous women and children. Together, we must take steps towards delivering the MMIWG reports 231 individual calls for justice, because only together can we end the violence that truly impacts us and our communities. We will find the healing path forward and we can only get there together. Uh, my, in my language, we say nenanaskamun and gasakitan. Nenanaskamun means I am grateful, I am thankful, I thank you. And Gasakitan means I love you. Yellow Brick House would like to start by acknowledging the land on which we gather as the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee, Wendat, Anishinaabe, and Chippewas of Georgina Island. This territory was subject to an agreement between the Iroquois. Confederacy, Ojibwe, and allied nations to peacefully share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. Today, York is home to many indigenous people across the Turtle Island, and we are honored and grateful to be able to work and live on this territory. Yellow Brick House is dedicated to advancing opportunities for learning and education and we're committed to the recommendations of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's report. We encourage you to acknowledge the land that you occupy, wherever you may be, because every child matters. Miigwech.
thank you, Chief Roseanne Archibald and Loris Herenda and the Yellow Brick House team. Well, guess what? The online auction is well underway because you are bidding strong. Well done. The online auction closes at 10 p.m. sharp tonight, so keep on bidding and don't let that special prize slip through your fingers. I'd like to take a quick moment and showcase our live auction packages, which are coming up a little bit later in the show. And I'm very, very excited because these are fabulous. All right, let's take a look at live auction package one. This is a four-night condo vacation. I am calling it Quando Condo. Imagine a four-night stay at a gorgeous luxury condo in the of Muskoka. This condo boasts a stunning lake view and a chef's kitchen and is an all-season property. The luxury condo has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, so get ready to enjoy the sun, sand, or snow. It is available in July and August, long weekends, and stat holidays, and it expires next May 5th of 2023. Live auction item number two. A seven-night cottage vacation donated by Ozzy and Paula Mello. Start imagining your family and friends enjoying seven days in Halliburton. The cottage sleeps eight and has two beautiful washrooms, a full kitchen with an espresso machine, and it's only available September and October of 2022 or May and June of 2023. Um, as you can hear, my little voice is starting to wane, but I have my yellow brick house cup here full of hot tea. And you know what? I know that you, you are cheering me on so that my voice stays for the rest of the night. All right. And for those of you that purchased the VIP bags, aren't they awesome? And I hope some of you are enjoying some nice bevies out of those wine tumblers as we speak. We all know that an evening such as this is absolutely not possible without the generous support of our sponsors. It is my pleasure to introduce this evening's Break the Silence title sponsor, The Talent Company. The Talent Company's headquarters are located in York Region, and their purpose is to improve the lives of the teams, organizations, and communities they serve by building thriving and inclusive workplaces. Please welcome Richard Antosic, Leanne Taylor, and Erica Mendoca Da Silva. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Richard Antosic, Chief Client Officer with The Talent Company. I am joined by my colleagues Leanne Taylor and Erica Mendonca da Silva. We are proud to be the title sponsor for the Break the Silence Virtual Gala in support of Yellow Brick House. Since 2018, we have supported the gala and like last year, we are virtual once again. The Talent Company is committed to be the title sponsor for the next three years and hopefully, we will come together in person in 2023 to celebrate Yellow Brick House's 45th anniversary. Yellow Brick House has a special place in the hearts of the team of the talent company, and I hope you join us in pledging support for their shelters to help women and children rebuild their lives. As Richard mentions, we're absolutely honored to be here today, and the talent company's purpose is to improve the lives of the teams organizations and communities that we serve by helping to build thriving workplaces. As a leading management consulting firm, we work closely with our clients to develop and innovate their human resources and talent strategies and practices. This evening's goal is to bring together this wonderful community to support Yellow Brick House, shelters, 24-hour crisis and support line, community counseling and supportive services education they provide to women and children escaping domestic violence. And with that, we would encourage you to think about how you can support Yellow Brick House in reaching their goal. Your support is more important now than it has ever been. Together, we can make a difference and break the silence. Please enjoy the gala. Thank you to the talent company. Your support means so much. Folks, please don't forget to check out all the amazing items in the silent auction. Keep those bids going, keep them pumping, and the silent auction closes tonight, 10 p.m. sharp. Now, <sighs> Julie Black. Julie Black is a true Canadian icon. She has been named as one of the greatest Canadian singers ever. 
and has been dubbed Canada's queen of R&B soul by her fans and peers. As a platinum-selling recording artist, Julie's music career has yielded multiple singles, reaching the top 10 pop, R&B, and dance music charts. She has won multiple Juno Awards, earned many industry accolades, and was hand-selected to sing for the Queen of England. Oh yeah, that is truth. With her powerhouse vocals, robust personality, and true love of people, Julie Black truly is every woman. Folks, hold on to your seats and hold on to your hearts, and please welcome the one, the only, Julie Black. It's a great day, ain't it? Thank you so much, Lane. So, so much. We are here to celebrate the women and children who benefit from the services of the Yellow Brick House. What better way to support this organization than to come together and raise funds, especially for the two shelters that they have provided for women and children to escape domestic violence. We would not be here tonight without the tremendous support of our sponsors. And I wouldn't be here without the support of you, Courtney Fraser. And I wanna bring the good news and the good vibe and the energy. Let's raise it up and up. Cause I'm no fool and you're no fool and we're no fool, come on now, woo! love ya and on a Tuesday I'm gonna hug ya and on a Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday gonna love ya oh I work for ya baby work my hand to the bone care for ya baby till you come home do for ya baby for the love that I seek slave for ya baby every day of the week and on a Monday Scrub your dirty floor on a Tuesday. I do a whole lot more on a Wednesday. I wash your dirty clothes to have a little loving for the weekend goes. I'll be your seven day fool, I'll be your seven day fool, I'll be your seven day fool only because I really love you. And on Monday, I'm gonna love ya. And on a Tuesday, I'm gonna hug ya. And on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, gonna love ya. What? I, I work for ya, baby. Work my hand to the bone. Care for ya, baby, till you come home. Do for ya, baby, for the love that I seek. Lay for ya, baby, every day of the week. And on a Thursday, Treat you all so kind on a Friday. I take you out to dine on a Saturday. I work double time. If you would only say your mind, I'll be. Clap your hands where you are now. Come on. I'll be a seven day fool. I'll be a seven day fool. Only because Yellow Brick House, I love you. On a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, hey, give me all your love. And on a Thursday, I treat you all so kind. On a Friday, I take you out to dine. On a Saturday, I work double time. If you would only say your mind, I'll be. Seven day fool, I'll be. Seven day fool, I'll be. Seven day fool, only because I really love you, 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 you. I really love you, you, you. I, I'm just a seven day fool. I, I really love you. Oh, on a Monday, I'm gonna love you. On a Tuesday, I'm gonna hug ya. And on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday.
Wednesday, Sunday, gonna love you up. Take it on, Courtney. Wednesday, Friday, I'm gonna love you. Seven days. take this opportunity to introduce the executive director of the Yellow Brick House, Loris Horenda. Thank you, Julie. That was truly amazing. And Elaine, it is so great to see you again. So excited to have you with us tonight celebrating our 17th annual gala. Welcome, everyone. We have an amazing evening planned for you. Tonight, we are celebrating the victories of women and children that escape violent homes. And we're celebrating you who help us deliver life-saving services. Last year, with your support, we were able to assist every single woman and child that was able to reach out to us. With repeated lockdowns, many families were not able to reach out. But as soon as public health restrictions began lifting, there was a huge surge of calls and the demand on our services increased exponentially. Even with the pandemic, we continue to remain open every single day, offering our 24-7 crisis support line, our emergency shelter services, individual counseling for both women and children, group support for women and children, family court support, and housing support. With your help, we saved lives. So tonight, we are indeed celebrating our achievements. Tonight, we will also remind ourselves how important it is to continue breaking the silence around domestic violence. And why is that? Because we must give a voice to every single woman and child that was impacted by violence. Because collectively, we can make a difference in their lives. Collectively, we can keep them safe. Almost 300 women and children found safety from violence in our shelters last year, and they started a journey to a violence-free life. But many couldn't. Last year, due to the pandemic, we have seen a 53% increase in domestic homicides in Ontario. Preventable homicides if women and children had an opportunity to escape the violence. As restrictions lift, and we hopefully are at the tail end of this pandemic, we know that families will be reaching out for help and we must be there for them. It is a hard step to leave everything behind, everything that you worked for, your dreams and your possessions, but one that many families take because ultimately the violence gets so bad that they fear for their lives. It is at this point, filled with fear and despair, their courage brings them forth. And when they make that call, we must be there for them. Children witnessing violence in their homes may suffer the impact for years, Research shows that children witnessing their mothers being abused is more traumatic for them than suffering physical abuse themselves. Children have become the primary 911 callers to assist their mothers while they themselves suffer the trauma. Every person deserves a chance to escape violence. This is not negotiable. So we need to show them that we are here for them, open, COVID-free, and ready to offer them a beginning of a new life. Tonight, you, our community, will help raise funds to support shelter beds for nights of safety. We simply cannot lose shelter beds. It will cost people's lives. We will come together as a community and raise $150,000 to support three shelter beds for a year. It is now my pleasure to introduce television personality Lisa Cheng, who is featured on City Line and Breakfast Television as the new IT girl in town. Behind the lens, community building, empowerment, teaching, and collaboration is at the heart of everything that Lisa is involved with. Leveraging her own life experiences, she's a big voice for the BIPOC community and advocates for diversity, equality, inclusion, and living fearlessly. Please give a warm welcome to Lisa. Thank you, Loris. Hello, friends, and thank you for coming together to support the Yellow Brick House 
and break the silence against domestic violence. Just over two years ago, COVID-19 impacted our lives in nearly every way and everywhere. As Canada and the rest of the world went into lockdown and restricted movement to contain the spread of this virus. As doors closed and isolation began, reports of all forms of violence against women and children, particularly domestic violence, began to rise. The pandemic of violence against women is not new. Even before COVID-19 hit us, globally, millions of women and children were abused by their partners. As we come together to mark the 2022 Yellow Brick House Virtual Gala, we all join hands with this incredible community. We link with the survivors, activists, decision makers, and people from every walk of life to shine a bright light on the need for increased funding, essential services, and awareness and prevention efforts for this safe haven. You see, the Yellow Brick House has been more than a house. They've been a home for many. I'd personally know. My mother experienced this home firsthand, and our family is eternally grateful. Everyone, it is my pleasure to introduce two courageous women. Who better to tell a story of the impact of the Yellow Brick House services than the survivors themselves? Please join me in welcoming a woman and her daughter who survived their abuse and are here to share and support the work of the Yellow Brick House. Thank you to Bell Canada for sponsoring that video. And to our survivors, thank you. We honour your courage to share with us this evening. And your safety is a priority and we stand beside you. Safety. Safety for women and children impacted by domestic violence. Nights of safety. My friends, this is why we're here this evening. And tonight, of course, is a very significant occasion for Yellow Brick House. This fundraising gala consistently raises significant funds that keep women and their children safe. And that, my friends, is because of all of you. Because of all of you standing right beside Yellow Brick House and planting your charitable flag here every single year. My friends, we have arrived at the most important moment of the show. And this is the time that we come together as a team. We come together as a family of supporters for Yellow Brick House. And we want to make sure that everyone feels a part of this moment. And we want to make sure that everyone understands just how important every single donation is. We do have a lofty goal of raising $150,000 in donations by the end of the show. And I know I know with everything inside of me that we can absolutely do it. So now, it's time for every one of you to head to the Symbolic Gifts tab at the top of the fundraising page. Please select one of the preset donation amounts or select the donation amount of your choice. And before we get the giving underway, it is absolutely no surprise to me that there have been several Paysetter donors who have stepped up in a very big way to catapult our fundraising efforts. I want to say a major big thank you to Shoppers Drug Mart. They have done it again. They have stepped up with a combined gift of $70,562. Let's get that added into our fundraising total right now. Amazing. Tech Electric. Thank you so very much for standing beside us and coming back again this year with a pay setting donation of $10,000. Let's get that added into our total right now. Yellow Brick House was nominated by Starbucks as their charity of choice in York Region. This resulted in a $12,500 gift that we can add into our fundraising thermometer right now. And the Regional Municipality of York Region Police Services Board has come forward with a 
$1,000 donation. Let's get that loaded into our total right now. And you know what? Let me have a sip and give you something that's hot off the press. <laughs> this is unbelievable. We have literally just received a call from Zach Bamani who was one of our Yellow Brick House board members, and he would like to announce that after speaking with Joanne Corton, the president and CEO of the Citrine Foundation of Canada, who has also been a longtime supporter of Yellow Brick House, the Citrine Foundation of Canada will match all donations that are made during the gala tonight up to $10,000. That is incredible. So... To all of those generous pace setter donors, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Your support is nothing short of transformational. But my friends, let's see where we're at right now. And I feel that we have, we're already at $131,000. But you know what? We have more work to do. And Laura Serenda, I'm talking to you right now. I think I'm going to change the goal to a quarter million dollars. We need to make sure absolutely everyone comes together, brings everything to the table. And we want to make sure that we say thank you to as many people as possible. I am losing my voice, but I am not losing my energy. I am not losing my love for what we are doing here tonight. Folks, you are donating like crazy. Our, we're already at $131,882. Our goal is $150,000, but I don't ever want you to take your foot off the gas. Everybody needs to get involved tonight. Stephanie Kramer said, I'm in at $150. Uh, Tony Van Bynen, you are in at $150. Uh, of course, the Citrine Foundation is in there. And let's get that number moving. Let's get that number moving up. Let's try to get to $150,000 in the next two minutes. Can we do that? Can we come together? Let's get some names up on the board right now. Let's get some new names. I want to see some names. I am not seeing the flash of names. I know that you're in there, but let's get going. We're at $131,822. There we go. Carolyn Skinner, $1,000. Thank you so much. Let's get those $20 gifts up. Let's get those $50 gifts up. Let's get the $100 gifts up right now because every gift makes a difference. My friends, we need to get to 150,000. You know what? No, we need to get to $200,000 tonight because we can do it. We have done it in the past. Let's get those names up on the board right now. Carolyn there's the last name I called out. Let's get some new names up there. All right, I am going to take a break right now, and we are going to start off with live auction item number one. We're going to let everybody get onto that symbolic gifts tab at the top of the fundraising page. And we're going to get you in there and you can take one of those preset amounts or put in a level that you would like to give tonight. All right. As you can see, my voice is getting super raspy, but you know what? I think it sounds awesome. Does everybody in the studio think it sounds good? Of course you do. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at our first live auction item. All right. <laughs> what have we got? We got a getaway for you, kids. And it's called Quando Condo. This one is valued at $1,500. We're going to start the bidding off at $800 with nice and easy bid increments of $100. So imagine a four-night stay at a gorgeous, and I'm talking gorgeous, luxury condo in the heart of Muskoka. This condo boasts stunning lake views, a chef's kitchen, and is all-season property. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms. So you know what? Come and enjoy the sun. Play in the sand. Play in the snow. Whatever warms your soul. So be reminded, though, the fine print says that we have limited availability in July and August, long weekends, and statutory holidays. This package expires on May the 5th, 2023. All right, 
Let's get the bidding going. Let's open it right now and let's see where we're at. We've already got one bid. Lisa, Lisa Toma. Hello, my friend, and welcome to the live auction. Lisa Toma is in at $900. Remember, this item is valued at $1,500, so I need another bidder in the house. You know that I don't like to sell it on the first bid. That is just so wrong. So Lisa Toma is in at $900. Let's get another bidder in at $1,000. Let's go $1,000. This is a beautiful condo. Listen, if you beg me, I might even come along with you, all right? Listen, I'm a lot of fun. I do a lot of great cleanup, and I have a great playlist. I have one bidder. Lisa Toma is sitting in the live auction all by her little self. Well, that's not fun for Lisa. Lisa needs a little bit of competition. Lisa needs one person to come in and say, Leah Taylor Roy. Leah Taylor Roy just made her move on Lisa Toma. Leah Taylor Roy is in at $1,000. Now, Lisa Toma, come on back to me, girl. Come on back. I know you want to go. Lisa's back at $1,100. Way to go, Lisa. All right, Leah Taylor Roy. You know what I'm going to say? Just have a little sip. Open up another little bottle and come on back. And she is back at $1,200. And I love that so much. Lisa Toma, that means it's back to you for $1,300. Back to you for $1,300. Let's go one more time. You know why we're here. Lisa Toma is in at $1,400. Leah Taylor Roy. It's just you and me right now. Just don't worry about anything else that is happening in the room around you. Just look into my eyes with your little eyes and go ting and go bing and go hit that button and let's go to $1,500. It's valued at $1,500. So Leah Taylor Roy, come on back to me. Come on back. Let's, let's, you know what? We love Lisa Toma but let's just bump her out of the live auction. Let's just have her have a moment when she comes back to outbid you. Leah, are you coming back in at 1500 Leah, are you coming back in to me? Are you coming back in? I'm going to have to sell it to Lisa Toma. Lisa, Hitesh Gandhi. I got a new bidder in the house. Yeah, that is awesome. Hitesh is in at 1500 Now, let's work this out. Let's work this out. Here's what we could do. Lisa Toma's back in at $1,600. This is happening all by itself. You know what? Everybody loves a little friendly competition, especially when it is for a great cause. Nights of safety tonight. Lisa Toma, you're sitting in at $1,600. Hitesh, you just kind of came in, just kind of just, just breezed in. You just breezed into the live auction. Why don't you breeze in again and lock, knock Lisa Toma out? Why don't you breeze in again at... <laughs> Donna Robinson, we have a $2,000 bid from Donna Robinson. Okay, this is huge. This is really huge. Lisa Toma is back in at 2100 Donna Robinson, why don't you bump it up a couple of times? Why don't you just make it 2500 and call it a day? You know what? That's what I say. Let's just do this. Let's go a couple more times. Let's make as much money as we can tonight for Yellow Brick House. That is why we're all here tonight. That is why we are doing what we do to help the women and children of York Region and beyond have safe nights. Lisa Toma, you're in at 2100 Donna, I'm going to give you another chance. Donna's in back in at 22 Donna's back in at 22 Lisa, what do you say? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. What do you think? What do you think? Are you going to go one more time? Lisa, if you go one more time, $2,300 from Lisa. Donna Robinson, can we do it? Can we get up to $2,500 on this package? Donna, I'm counting on you. There's a whole lot of people in this studio that have their little fingies crossed for you too, Donna. Can you do it, Donna? Can you go one more time? It might sting a little bit right now. It's going to feel good in the morning. Trust me. It's going to feel great in the morning. Lisa Toma at $2,300 going once. Lisa Toma at $2,300 going twice. All in. All out. And sold right there to Lisa Toma. Yeah. Well done. Woohoo. You know what? I still got it in my little lungs. All right. Let's go on to item number two. 
live auction, item number two. I'm going to bring the voice down a little bit. I'm going to save my vocal cords. And you know what, ragweed? You can go away anytime you like. All right. See that cottage? Oh, yeah. You're going to have a seven-night stay in that gorgeous cottage. And this has been donated by Ozzy and Paula Mello. Uh, your seven-night stay is valued at $30. $500. We're going to start the bidding off at $1,600. So I want you to imagine, you see that cottage? Imagine the sound of the loons, 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 the sound of the loons. This gorgeous cottage sleeps eight with two full washrooms. The kitchen is fully equipped and even has, get a load of this, it has an espresso machine. There's an indoor fireplace for those evenings that you want to gather around and maybe play some games. There's a fire pit down by the lake where you can roasty roasty the marshy mallows. And there are many decks for lounging, dining, or reading a book. Uh, friends, this one's only available September and October of 2022. So, I mean, a gorgeous fall getaway or May and June of 2023. Look at that place. Cast your eyes on that gorgeous cottage and see your family sitting around the campfire. We are already at $3,000. Vicki Bradley, Simon Park, and Laura Taylor, they're, Tammy, there have already been some massive bids going on. We are already at $3,000. Who's going to come back and knock our friend Vicki out of the park right now? Vicki Bradley, you're sitting at $3,000. And I love you, Vicki. I love you. But you know who else I love? I love Simon Park, and, and I love Laura Taylor, too, because they're right in there. They're right there behind you. Their little horsies, are, their money horsies, need to come out. They need to pull their wallets out and go boom, boom, boom. Let's bump out Vicki Bradley. Vicki Bradley is sitting at $3,000. This is valued at $3,500. Folks, you saw the look of that cottage. It is stunning. It is absolutely stunning, and you are going to have a great time at the end of this, whatever we've been through, to go to a gorgeous place like that. Laura Taylor, Laura Taylor, you came to me. You came to me, Laura Taylor. And Simon Parkin, you are in at 3,600, and we are humming along. Hey, Vicki Bradley. Hey, Vicki Bradley. Um, I like the sound of your name, and I want to say it again. I want to say Vicki Bradley $4,000. I want to say Vicki Bradley, $4,000. Can Vicki Bradley give us $4,000? Can she do it? I think she can. That means you have to hit that little button twice. Twice, Vicki. Vicki, Vicki, where are you, Vicki? Don't tell me you're out taking the dog for a walk. Vicki Bradley, you heard me loud and clear, and you're in at 3800 Now, Simon, Simon Parkin, I know you're there. Look into my eyes, Simon. Let's just go there. Let's just go to $4,000, Simon. Let's just do it. I know you need a vacation. I know you've been working hard. The family wants to get away. And look at that beautiful cottage, and your family will have a vacation to remember. And Vicki Bradley does not want to sit there at $3,800. Vicki Bradley and Lane the Auctionista want to make way for you, Simon Parkin, to come in at $4,000. would not it be amazing? if we raise $4,000 for nights of safety for the women and children with one live auction item. Simon Parkin, baby. I'm calling you baby because now we're close. Now I'm talking heart to heart with you, Simon. Don't take the dog out for a break. Don't, don't go to the kitchen for anything. Just look at me and hit that tab one more time. I want to get $4,000 on this item. And if, Simon, you're not up for that, then, Vicky, I'm going to challenge you. Simon Parkin is in at $4,000, and we are so excited here. I've got some of the Yellow Brick House team way at the back, and their arms are flailing, and they're so excited because this means everything, my friends. This means everything. Simon, you're sitting at four grand. Vicky, I am talking to you right now. Are you... Leah Taylor, Roy, where were you? Where did you come from? Did you take the dog for a walk around the block and then you just came back in and said, boom, I'm in again, Lane, baby. I am in again. Leah Taylor, Roy, 4,200. Okay, here's the challenge. I'm looking at the team back there and they're saying, Lane, push it to 4,500. Get 40. Prava's looking at me and she's saying, 
Lane, you can do it. You can do it. But you know what? It's not about me. It's about all of you. It's about all of you. If I had hair on the back of my neck, it would be standing up. Because we are so moved by the generosity that we have already seen tonight. Can we get this up to 4,500? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think about it. Maybe Simon is going to come back. Maybe Vicky is going to come back. But right now, Leah is sitting at 4,200. Are we done? Are we over? I still think we did good, kids. $4,200. No, we didn't. Donna Robinson is at $4,400. Donna Robinson. You know what? Can we get a little faster with the little clickety clicks? Can we get a little faster? Can we get up to 4,500 and end it? Let's sell it off at 45. Let's sell it off at 45. Leah, are you going to bump Donna out of it? Are you going to bump her out or am I shutting it down? This is it. This is it. I got to keep the.